Good morning, folks, and welcome to the page. I wanted to do a little walk around of this Paypack self-unloading wagon. Uh, this thing bring, brings back memories for me, as uh, I don't think my dad had one, but a neighbor had a couple of these back in the 70s. Uh, it turns out Paypack is a company that was in Shortsville, New York, off I-90, just north of Canandaigua, New York, which is a couple hours from us. And they built uh, silage equipment. The company um, was, I'd say turn of the century, but the, uh, the 20th century. Uh, apparently it was a Croatian immigrant, Paypak. Um, and because they were building silage equipment, like uh, hay, uh, like a silage chopper that you would fill, the, fill a silo with and, and put, put your uh, corn and stuff, they built... Um, wagons. Uh, by today's standard, this wagon is quite small. It's got an eight-ton running gear. It's got this uh, nice flotation tires on it. I'm going to convert it to use it as a hay wagon for the summer for kick, kicker, uh, my kicker baler, um, which is right there. Okay. So kicker wagons are going really high and this this uh, this should work pretty good I should be able to convert this pretty easily so <clears throat> you can see they have this on this nice running gear and we'll start with a power takeoff in the front so you can see that we have the carrier there's another video of unloading one of these on YouTube you got this uh, multi-unit gearbox here. Can't really see what's inside there. I'm going to be disassembling that and scrapping it. Uh, I may save. It's always good to have some shafts. Um, actually, there's a coupler. Okay, it's got a uh, shear pin in it. But uh, you can see... In the front, it's marked with the uh, control position only with PTO running in neutral. It's got low and high. So as you're, if you got a smaller load, or after the, uh, you know, it'll it'll stay stacked up as it comes forward, then it falls over. So then you want to kick it on high. It's also got this other connection over here to engage something. So yeah it's actually quite the piece of equipment. There's another connection with a couple of... it's got two shear bolts on the bottom. I guess that would be for the auger. Okay we'll take a quick walk around the dark side of it. And it it had these hardboard sides. I guess that was a 70s thing. Um, I don't think they're too thick. They're masonite, I guess it would be. The gentleman I bought this from said he bought it from the original owner who was just a couple miles down the road. Now you can see here, it's got a pretty good size back on it. And that was, of course, when you're blowing material in it to catch that material so what I'm actually thinking is as a kicker wagon uh, I can I can unbolt this back and I can actually move it back um, three feet even and have uh, extra capacity okay so as a table chain it's got two table chains um, pretty much in the back they're independent you can see they adjust the uh, tension on the table chains <coughs> this thing is in really good condition so if if I needed a unloading wagon I got a deal for an unloading wagon so there's the uh, complete table chain on the left hand side and it's got these it's got these boards to carry it. So 
It's really kind of sad to tear it apart. The gentleman said he had replaced the floor with some good lumber a few years ago. So it's got a full plywood floor. Nice three quarter inch uh, valuable plywood. It's got these huge beams. I think he replaced some of those. <clears throat> so there's a look underneath it. And now I didn't quite understand this, this pin system here. Not quite sure what it's. Uh, maybe that's just a. I don't know. Does anybody know what that does? Is that just an extra pin for pulling two wagons? It's kind of small for a draw pin. Um, not quite sure where where else it would go if it was a it doesn't even come out. So it's got to be got to be to lock this in there. But uh, the tailgate doesn't really open. As far as I can tell. So, yeah. So, we'll move around here. Now, as a kicker wagon, I'm going to add some sides as well. Extend it out the back, add some sides. And then in the front, I'll add a gate. Um, I might put a little side on the front. because you can see, here's the front axle. So, uh... I might extend the front just a little a tad. Now the only drawback on using it for a kicker wagon is you can see how high the, the bed is because it's got to have that to uh, have the chain go under it. You can see it's got these edges in the front and it's got this auger. So yeah, there's no belt. Um, my dad had a new idea wagon, and I can't remember. I think that new idea wagon actually had a belt. This, this has that auger, and it has the those pieces. Now, those I can, I might have a couple of uses for those. But of course, uh, you know, in modern farming with pit silo, that, that that's a what do they call it? A defacer or something? They put on the excavator or the loader and they clean out the uh, the modern silo so this obviously is a step too I'm not real sure how to get up there whatever works right so and it's still got corn in it still got corn silage in there Yeah, so it looks like the back was intended to open. But uh, he put those clamps on there to bolt it closed. You can see the insides. Not sure what that strapping is. May have been added for a little extra strength. You can see that, that hardboard can't really tell. Looks kind of a particle board with a masonite face. If anybody knows what that is, uh, let me know. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a shame to tear this unloading wagon apart because it had a use. But it's pretty small by conventional sense, and I'm not going to be chopping anything and. I need a, I need a hay wagon. So, uh, okay, I just see, I can see behind this cover. So, we've got some nice chains, some nice sprockets in here. So that's how everything is all connected. And of course, I'm going to take this all apart. So, yeah, this actually is a. <laughs> Pretty nice wagon. Nothing wrong with this. He said he even he even had these made. He had those made and replaced them. So
Good Thursday yeah. morning to you. This is May 2021. And, uh, yeah, this is the end of an era because this is going to come apart. So thanks for watching, folks. And that's the way I do it.